Mauricio, Milani Hua, nicknamed Shogun, is a Brazilian mixed martial artist and former model. He competes in the light heavyweight division of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He is a former UFC light heavyweight champion. A professional competitor since 2002, Hua is also the 2005 Pride Middleweight Grand Prix champion. At the moment, he had 41 fights in his career, and 27 of them he won, and 21 times by knockout. And now we'll remember all his 13 losses in UFC. Let's go! Who has started his professional career at the Wally Tudo events in Brazil? achieving 3 stoppage due to strikes. Shogun then entered IFC Global Domination Tournament on September 2003. Hua won his first bout against Eric Wanderley due to punches and in the second bout got the first submission loss of his career against Renato So Brown with a guillotine in the third round. We are at seven. Good job, he's not letting go, man. He is not letting go. He is wearing down Shogun. It's, it's over. It's over. It. It's over. It. It's Shogun had to take a knee, and then when Babalu jumped back to that guillotine, and he trapped the arm. Babalu Sobra. After the first defeat, Hua moved to Pride FC and won the 2005 Pride Middleweight Grand Prix. In the next fight after his Grand Prix win, Shogun faced Mark Coleman at Pride 31 on February 2006. As Coleman executed a takedown, Hua landed awkwardly and dislocated his elbow, forcing a stoppage due to injury. Coleman was pulled off of Shogun by the referee and was confronted immediately by members of Hua's corner. This led to an in-ring brawl between Hammer House and Chuty Boxy. His elbow, we have been told, 49 seconds, gun dislocating his elbow after the takedown, Boxy. And you know, there you go. Oh, so, yes. God, oh, oh man, that's not side. something you want to see. Yep. Unbelievable. A yep. tragedy for the Shooter Box Academy. After the UFC bought out Pride, Shogun signed on with the UFC and made his debut in the organization at UFC 76 on September 2007, facing the Ultimate Fighter 1 winner Forrest Griffin. Hua was favored to win, however he had difficulty with Griffin and became exhausted early on and was dominated for the remainder of the fight. He succumbed to a rear naked choke in the final seconds of the third round. Shogun have left. I wonder if Shogun's got anything left, Joe. Get his back. 30 seconds of the fight. Force got his back with the rear naked chop. 15 seconds. He caught him. He caught him. He caught him. But finished him on the ground. Submitted him. He's got that rear naked choke in. And you see. By top out due to a rear naked choke. On October 2008, at UFC 104, Shogun lost by unanimous decision to UFC light heavyweight champion Lyoto Machida. All three judges scored the bout in Machida's favor. Journalists and Dana White had scored the fight in Hua's favor. Oh, nice body kick. Look at that kick to the body. Man, that is another Again to the beautiful mid body kick. It was taken away from his offense. Again, again with that leg kick. Here we go. Leona Machida now swinging away. And as did Shogun. Slip. Out the feet, so I need to go in there and become the champion. Who landed more? Oh, no. A nice, nice elbow. elbow. A nice Final seconds. This wow. title fight. Look at that elbow off the break. By unanimous decision, Leoto the Dragon. On March 2011 at UFC 128, Hua faced John Jones in the light heavyweight title fight. Jones began the fight with a flying knee to the head. Hua later said the blow greatly affected his performance for the rest of the bout. Jones kept the pressure on Hua to out the rest of the fight, utilizing unorthodox striking and ground and pound. Shogun lost the fight via TKO in round 3. Goodness. There's one that kick. kick and takes it. Big shot by Jones. If he had any doubt. That drop down coming in, man. When was the last time you saw someone do that? Up against the cage. Beautiful spinning elbow. And then 
just missed. Shogun's badly hurt, Mike. John Jones! Knee to the body, and enough. Jones to the body, and it is all over! Jones is all over, brutal knee to the body. Vicious left hook, and then a knee. Bones! Oh! who faced Dan Henderson on November 2011 at UFC 139, losing via unanimous decision. Henderson was in control of most of the first three rounds, dropping Hua in the third. In the fourth round, the momentum started to shift towards Hua, who was able to mount Henderson. Tonight is one of those. There we see Dan come in with a left hand, and there's a nice right hand on the jaw. One minute. Oh, vicious elbows by Dan. Now Shogun. Good shot by Shogun. Oh, oh look at that. Dan got him in a crucifix. Looking for He's the choke. Him. He's got the choke, but Shogun. Not firing it like he was earlier. Big shot by Shogun. Take shot. Shogun. Shogun trying. And Dan right now is just hanging on. And here Henderson gets rocked with a big uppercut. Final Mount again. They go. And Dan spent the majority of this round on his back defending himself. By unanimous decision, Dan Henderson. Shogun. Let's go fight. Gustafsson. And here we go. Shogun faced Alexander Gustafsson in December 2012 at UFC on Fox 5. He lost the fight by unanimous decision. Gustafsson's in trouble! Now it's just a matter of pulling the leg out. Looking for the takedown. Long legs. It makes it even back. Epic battles for Shogun against Henderson and Vera. And all old shooter box men. Great strikers. Oh, good wizard there. Results. And he's certainly capable and he delivers two right there. Mate in San Diego of Alexander Gustafson. In the UFC light heavyweight division behind the Hall of Famer. That's that was so evident as it was in his fight Front kick with to the Dan face. By unanimous decision, Alexander the Mauler Gustafson. On August 2013, at UFC Fight Night 26, Hua faced Child Sonnen in the main event. He lost the fight via guillotine choke in the first round. Beautiful. For Chael, hits the body there. He's looking for that guillotine. He's got it under the choke. He's got it. He's going to drop down. He got, can't get it. Chael's got it. He's got it. Ducks. And he said, you know what? Let's do it. Tried to separate it and just had to tap. By top out, due to a guillotine choke, Chael Sonnen! A rematch with Dan Henderson took place on March 2014 at UFC Fight Night 38. After winning the first two rounds and scoring a knockdown in each, he was defeated by strikes in the third round. Hua sustained a broken nose in his fight with Henderson that required surgery. You're up, Herb Dean! And used to rock Shogun, but then he countered with the... ...and is fully recovered as he eats oh. another one by... Oh! Huge uppercut lands plus for Shogun! And Henderson getting caught his knockouts. And again, Shogun doing a nice job in U.S. Lee. Oh! And for Hendo! Shogun trying to recover! And how about the wherewithal from Dan Henderson when he believed Shogun Hua was out, got that message to Herb Dean. By TKO, Dan Henderson! Mauricio faced Owen St. Proulx on November 2014 at UFC Fight Night 56. Hua lost the fight by a knockout at just 34 seconds into the first round. The fastest knockout loss of his career. Went forward. Now always P with the left hook. Boom! By TKO, Ovitz, Sage, Boom! 
Shogun faced Anthony Smith on July 2018 and again lost the fight via knockout in the first round. Shogun is what, what always set him apart. Whoa. Shogun, but actually when you consider... Oh! Front kick to the face! Took for a second there. Oh, and again! Let's take a look at this. He caught Shogun with a nice check hook, which forced Shogun to rush forward. Watch this. Is it an elbow up against the fence? He backs him up. There it is. Elbow to the temple. Cuts him. Switches him off. Amazing. Amazing. Incredibly impressive for Lionheart Smith. And Mark Goddard saves him. Look at this reaction from his corner team. Incredible performance. A rematch with Paul Craig took place on November 2020 at UFC 255. Mauricio lost the fight via technical knockout in round 2. The first fight took place on July 2020 at UFC on ESPN 14. That time the back and forth fight was declared a split draw. Got the hands connected. Boom! Dump. It's very effective in the mixed martial arts fight. Right. <laughs> Paul Craig in an excellent position here. This could be it. Shogun, get out of there. Do something for him. Tap to the strikes. Wow. Compared to Craig. Shogun tap from strikes. There's the oil check. How, how rude. <laughs> this replay is brought to you by Nemiroff. Bold character since 1872. Total complete control, and Shogun just had nowhere to go. I mean, you ain't going nowhere. This fight clock is brought to you by Timex. Official time. Hua had a rematch against Owen St. Rue on May 2022 at UFC 274. He lost the fight by a split decision. Another body kick here by Ovitz. Ovitz with a left hand right here, right down the middle. Touches Shogun and then the, the game. One strike at a time is two Shogun's advantage. Hello, Light TV was with you. Thanks for watching till the end. Please comment, like, subscribe, and punch the bell for more Low Lights.